Well, good Tuesday morning, Mount Olive Church family, friends, everybody join us online for our devotions. Um, get going on another week here. I uh, hope you got to be with us Sunday for Brother Scott Addison's message. Uh, the Lord gave him wonderful, wonderful message. Um, appreciate Brother Scott. Always enjoy having him with us. And um, and he, he always does such a fantastic job in giving what the Lord's uh, shown him. Um, we'll get my screen up here. Um, Monday's devotion, I hope you caught it from our pastor um, and talked about, uh, wow, how important really uh, of being what kind of company we're in and, 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 and being in bad company. So I hope you got to catch that too. Um, one thing I'm, I've caught from pastor's uh, devotion Monday is uh, I'm never shooting another crow. Uh, you know, I'm a big, I'm a big time hunter and uh, I'm not shooting any more crows. Uh, no more, no more for me. So, and you're wondering what that's about. And it's kind of a little joke, but you'll have to watch his devotion to know where that goes. So anyway, you can see I've got on the screen here a uh, part that really, really spoke to me uh, Sunday in Brother Scott's message was a part on worth. Um, and he was talking about the prodigal son and, um, you know, a familiar story for most of us. And uh, he, he was talking about um, you know, different scenarios with that. And, and, but one, one part that he, one point that he brought, brought out that I really, really love that stuff with me, uh, was talking about knowing your worth. Uh, and that's what I've put on the screen here. And I, that's, that's going to be my devotion today. I want to give you just for a second. So we see that, you know, the son, he, he, he goes, there's two of them. And, and one of the sons goes to his father and says, you know, give me, give me all my inheritance. And he goes out and, and he wasted on riotous living and, you know, he squanders it away. And, uh, you know, he, he finds himself working for uh, a servant. Uh, he finds it or finds himself being a servant for someone else and, uh, and feeding the swine and the pigs. And, uh, he finds himself in that situation, uh, and that gets used and, uh, goes, that goes back to Monday's, um, devotion with the pastor. So go catch it. Uh, after that part, he leaves and he says he comes to himself and, and that's not where I want to go. I, uh, I think somebody will probably pick that one out this week because I really like that one too. But he comes to himself and he goes back to his father and that's where I'm going to pick up here. And, and in Luke chapter 15, uh, verse 21, I've got the, the last part of that verse highlighted here on the screen. And I want you to catch this. Um, and, you know, I've I've taught on this. Um uh, preached on this message myself or, or, or this scripture uh, through this story, I guess. And, but I never, I never really picked out this last sentence the way Scott brought it out Sunday. And I thought it was so important, but in the very last part of verse 21, when he comes back to his father, he says, you know, his father runs out to him and he kneels down and he, he tells him, you know, father, I, I'm, I've sinned against you. I've sinned against God. I've done this. I've done that. And he begins to just pour his heart out. And then he ends with this. He looks at his father and he says, I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. Wow, that is such a big statement for him to come back and tell his dad, you know, just make me like a servant. I'll go to work. I'll do whatever you need to do around the house. I'll, I'll be your servant. I am no more worthy to be called thy son. But this is this is the father's answer. This is the answer that God gives us when we come to him. Sometimes we don't feel like we're worthy. Luke 15, 22 says, but the father said to his servants, bring forth the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his hand, shoes on his feet, bring hither the fatty calf and kill it and let us eat and be merry to be happy. I am just happy that my son is home. We're going to celebrate. And so, this is the part that got me, and, and I, I thought, you know, and, and Scott brought this point out, birth makes us sons, not worth. Birth, being being a child of God, that's what makes us son being born again. And it's, that's, it's not worth, it's not anything we could do. Our righteousness is filthy rags. And listen, every one of us are going to come before God. It, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that that his love for us doesn't depend on the worth that we have in self because there's nothing there. 
I am uh, an assistant pastor. I have been a deacon for 15, 20 years and youth leader and all. And listen, old Jody is full of mistakes. You dig into my life, I'm a mess up. I, I am a mess up. Uh, I make a lot of mistakes and a lot of failures, but my worth is not found in the things that I accomplish in this world and, and the things that I do. But my my worth is found in asking Christ to be Lord and Savior of my life and, Jesus, and, and God to be my father, my heavenly father. Another point right here, he didn't ask what he did with all his inheritance. And when his son comes back and he says, I'm no worth, I'm no longer worthy to be called thy son. You know what? His dad didn't look at and say, all right, I, I give you this amount of money and I give you this and I give you, what did you do with it? What did you do? I mean, he didn't ask him how he'd wasted. He didn't ask him what he'd done. The way the father sees us never changes. That was his son. It was the same son that had left him uh, before and took his inheritance and walked away and walked away from his father. It was the same son and he was waiting on him. I love the story that Scott told of the daughters that had gone away and the father would turn on that porch light every night just in case she come back, she would see that light. I'm so glad God leaves the light on for us, aren't you? I love you guys. Remember your worth today is not in anything that you do, nothing that you accomplish, nothing in this world that you can do is ever going to bring you worth. It's all through the Father. He loves you because you have asked his son to be Lord of your life. Birth makes us sons, not worth. Love you guys. Have a great week. I pray for you and you pray for me.